What's up guys, today I'm going to be comparing the FD 60 to 300 millimeter film lens from Canon to the more modern EFM 55 to 200 millimeter lens. So the older FD lens is much cheaper, but it's also twice as big and more than twice as heavy. If I'm walking around the street shooting with this lens, I have to hold the barrel of it with one hand and then take pictures with the other hand. So you don't really have any free hands. With the newer lens, it has autofocus and it's really light. It's really small, really light. So with that lens, you can just kind of walk around and hold it in one hand, take the pictures, not have, you don't have to worry about the manual focus that you do with this lens. So on the other hand, this lens is a little bit faster, cheaper, and it has a longer zoom range. So when I say it's faster, it means it has a bigger aperture, lets in more light, blurs the background a lot more. But I've got a comparison. This photo was taken with this FD lens, and then the next photo was taken with the EFM lens. And it kind of shows the different framing, zoomed all the way in with the aperture all the way open. And there's not as much difference as you would think. Even if you're at f6.3, if you're zoomed all the way into 200, you're gonna get a blurry background. Right now, I'm filming this on the Canon M50 with the lens that I'm talking about, the uh, EFM 55 to 200. It's at 200, zoomed all the way in. You can kind of see, especially if I get really close, how blurry the background is. I really like having autofocus and I like having good autofocus. I like having autofocus and I like having reliable autofocus. The good thing about the M50 is it definitely does have reliable autofocus. So with this EFM lens, if you want to take a picture and focus on a certain part of the frame that it might not be automatically focusing on, you can just tap the screen, it will focus really quick and take the picture. So you can be walking around just tapping the back of the screen on, and it will focus within a second and take the picture. So normally the 60 to 300 has to be multiplied by 1.6 because it's a crop sensor camera. But if you put a speed booster on there, it makes it closer to actually being 60 millimeters through 300 millimeters. It makes it like a smaller full frame camera and it actually adds a stop of light. So all the way zoomed in, instead of 5.6, it would be f4. So I'm gonna show some photos and if they were taken with the FD lens, I'll put that on there. If they were taken with the EFM lens, I'll put that on there so you can kind of see the difference. The EFM lens is sharper. The FD lenses are always going to give you a more dreamy look and they're going to be less sharp. They're going to be soft, but they are quite a bit cheaper. I, I think I paid $19 for this lens and I paid about $100 for the EFM lens. I got it used and all scratched up. I try to find lenses when they're all scratched up on eBay, uh, not on the actual lens, but on the, the barrel of the lens to get it cheaper just to test it out. And I was just gonna test it out and resell it, try to sell it for more, but I like shooting with the EFM 55 to 200 so much. Like it is so much fun to walk around the street and do street photography with that lens because you can really zoom in to the subject and you can get a blurry background. You can get a nice looking sharp image out of that lens. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, reviews, tutorials, and videos about what I'm learning as I grow, as a filmmaker, hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.